Okay, welcome to uh, the back of my car. There's a red back spider in the web there. I'm speaking very quietly because I don't want it to hear what I'm about to do. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. I want you to see the amazing web setup that's going on here. Hmm, very interesting. What is unusual is she's in her web during the day. You don't often see that. While she's there, I think I'll hit her with the Coles Multi. I like my Coles Multi, it's nice and cheap. Give it a bit of a shake and we'll give her a bit of a spray, hey? Okay, she's right in the middle of the screen there. I'm still whispering because I'm pretty sure she can hear what I'm saying. When she gets hit by the Coles Multi, she'll do the Harold Hold. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, she's making a retreat. It looks like she's going up inside a web there. Oh, no, she's coming this way. Watch out, watch out. Oh, my crikey, she's down. That was very, very fast. It's not often I get these spiders during the daytime, but... I don't want them under my cars. As a famous YouTuber once said, Good night, sister. Another victim of the Coles Multi Insect Killer. And my goodness me, she'd been a very busy girl for such a small redback spider. Quite an amazing web she's built up there. Initially I thought it may have been the grey house spider, but no, no, no. This is Redback Spiderweb. Ah yes, another small victory against the ever-present problem of the deadly Redback Spider. I just hope that this video has been educational enough for today's very strange and awkward YouTube. Let's take a look at my precious pet redback spider that lives in here. Very carefully, look under here. Okay, it's looking like a family affair. Okay, I can see the male redback spider there. There's also an egg sack. There's a lot of redback spider web in there. Stacks of it. Let's take a look at the female redback spider. There she is there. If I touch her, she might get a bit rest up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll leave her be, but she needs to know. I've always got control. And I'll just very carefully put her home back as it was, yeah. Nice and gently. I wouldn't want to harm her in any way. Let's add some educational layers to this video because YouTube may struggle. Now, it was last spider season. I had a spider under the same car and it was a good spider. It was a grey house spider. Grey widow cement spider as I call it. And if you remember, I had a lot of trouble identifying this spider because the web is very, very similar to a redback spider web. Although, now I can bring footage up side by side. I'll show you the grey house spider web first. And we're looking at that now. Okay, get your eyes wrapped around that. And now look at this redback spider web that we're looking at now. And I can do the old grey house spider web, redback web. Grey house spider web, red back web. And in nature, you tend not to see these spiders side by side, but they do like living in the same style of environments. And a red back spider often has a cone nest that you won't see around the grey house spiders. Just looking at the spider web, it's really tricky to identify one versus the other. But I think looking at the upper part of a red back spider's web, 
it's just more chaotic. A lot more web structure going on with the Redback Spider's web. I have done another Redback Spider roundup in the backyard. It was done mid-January, but the video is caught up in demonetization mode on YouTube. Now, what I'm getting really tired of is this video uses the same titles and tags and info that really all the other Redback Spider Roundup videos have got, yet every time I do one of these videos, it gets smacked down and demonetized as soon as the video has been processed. Many people say it's the warning that I have in the video. Look, I've done videos without that warning at all, and they still get smacked down after processing. Now remember, if you believe everything you're told by YouTube, they say the system gets smarter and it learns along the way. From my experience in my uploading to YouTube, I can see the system isn't learning a thing. If it was learning, it's going to see all these videos that it thought were problematic actually end up becoming monetized. So sure, I've done another Redback Spider Roundup. It was fantastic to go in there and do the method that I prefer to control the spiders, but in that video, we learn a big lesson of what happens when I miss one of the spider nests because at the previous Redback Spider Roundup in November of 2019, I only had the monkey tool and the monkey tool's great for getting the spiders, but the flamethrower does a far grander job at really cleaning out spiders in areas that sometimes I can't see. Chances are even this video, a very simple one, will be demonetized as soon as it gets processed I'm in this ridiculous catch-22 when it comes to uploading to this site, and I'm really, really getting tired of it. It is really draining on me as a producer on this site. And I'm well aware that I'm just one of many, many thousands of producers on the site who are just getting completely slam-dunked by the system.